real cases. We did that in the case of the Bataan Nuclear Power Plant. It took so long, and it was again a drain on the national treasury. If you were to pursue it legally, how, how would you pursue it legally when, when it's so dispersed? I think it would do a lot of good to think of ways of establishing institutions to give an objective and impartial uh, a decision about, about odious debt. I think that even a civil society could establish some forum where a group of respected people could be appointed to a panel and that uses specific criteria and applies those criteria to the facts of a particular country situation and issues a report. Sometimes this could be related to audits of debt. Because as you can see from the World Bank paper, one of the objections is that the standard uh, or the criteria are too um, uh, general, too indeterminate. But, you know, courts and tribunals um, and arbitrators are used all the time to applying general criteria like equity to specific facts, but you need an institution. I think it's very timely today with the, with the growing recognition of the issue to really start pushing our government to stop paying these illegitimate debts that have been incurred in our name. And this will not happen if movements don't push hard. And this is the opportune time to push now because there is recognition, growing recognition, and there are many cases that we have researched and can put forward as examples and the government should begin taking action today. Napakahalaga yung role ng social movements to be very very strong in pushing this on our legislators and in, in the executive. Maski nga there is a universal sense na odious ang isang debt, kung walang political will on the part of a government, wala mangyayari. We have to make it uh, not only a legal fact, but a political fact. In the time of Congress, Joint Resolution Number 2 was filed by freedom from debt advocates in the House of Representatives, calling for the creation of a congressional commission to review and assess the debt policies, the strategies, and programs of the Philippines, conduct a public audit of all loans acquired, including assumed and contingent liabilities, validate the utilization of loan proceeds and the payments make their own and recommend policies and strategies to reduce debt service. One way to solve this obvious debt is to make governance in states more accountable and therefore that may be another angle that we should look at. Discussing debt and debt service and obvious debt is important because it impacts on development issues, it impacts on our right uh, to development. Proper lending revolves around sharing resources. It revolves around fairness. It revolves around a desire to assist. It revolves around equity. The Doha Agreement stressed that the situation demands the implementation of existing and new initiatives and mechanisms to resolve the current debt problems of developing countries in an effective and equitable manner that includes debt cancellation.